Hello everybody. I am making vanilla -ry. So, um, this is a pretty simple soap. I really don't color the batter because it does discolor to an off-white tan color. And what I've done in the past is add some hoba beads um, to give a little bit of scrubby texture. So uh, this time we're going to add some of the Vitaburst beads. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get this show on the road. I'm going to grab my liquid oils to have those ready. This is my third batch today out of hopefully 17. We'll see how I do. Lots of restocks and being prepared for a show that I have coming. in here. I've got three batches to make using this big bucket that I normally use for double batches because like I filled every available bucket I had which is 17. <laughs> They're all gone, Noah. All gone. Back it up. Hurry. Hurry, Noah. Salt and vinegar's right there in that big bag. This could be in here. You're welcome. I just put my coconut milk in. I normally use heavy cream powder, but I actually was out of it, so I ran to the store and just grabbed some coconut milk. And with our fragrance, it is very yellow, and I'm going to go ahead and add the beads in. These are the uh, gold beads that have jojoba oil in them, so kind of cool. It was just a sample pack I bought for myself to see if I liked them. You can see them on my stick blender, maybe. See that? Scrape it off some. Get all those little beads back down in our soap. What happens with the Vitaverse beads is they stay solid until you um, use the bar of soap and the friction of rubbing it on your skin or on the wash rag busts them and releases what's inside. And as I said, these ones have um, 
jojoba oil in them. So really nice. Okay, see that? Bring this up. See them on there? So it makes for a really, really luxurious soap. I've always done my vanilla soap with uh, jojoba beads, and I thought, well, this time we'll just add some Vitaburst beads. Scrape all this out. Make sure we're not missing any. Eric is outside working hard on making everybody's molds. He got those back up on the website. Alright, so I am going to pause. I'm going to let this set up a little bit and then I am going to texture the top. Okay, so we are ready and I'm trying to think what I want to do Okay, I think that will work. All right guys, we'll bring you back for the cut. Guys, we're back to cut vanilla -ry. It started to sweat some on top, but it should be fine. It should cure out just fine. Sometimes the fragrance will do that to you. I really like the little gold beads in there. I'll zoom in and make sure you guys can see well. There you go. Hmm, smells really, really good. As you can see, you can see the discoloration around the edge of the soap. The rest of it will turn that color as well. But as with the last batch, if you watched it, uh, every bar is the same, so I will not bore you with every single cut. You guys have a wonderful day, and we'll catch you on the next video.